Evergreen Cemetery is a window into Portland's past, and the Friends of Evergreen Cemetery has begun its 2012 walking tour season to bring that past alive. This year, they've added special tours so that those who may have difficulty getting around can still enjoy this Portland gem. Leslie McVeigh talked with the Friends Community Outreach Coordinator, Lisa Evans, and docent Mary Ann Wallace about this year's season. Well, Lisa and Marianne, thank you for being here today. Um, uh, you are starting up the season at, at, at Evergreen, Friends of Evergreen, with um, a new docent program and tours of the cemetery. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, well, thank you for having us here. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we're starting our um, history docent walking tour program. And this uh, winter, we went through the Portland history docent program with, with uh, Many of the nonprofits in the area, like Greater uh, Portland Greater Landmarks and Maine History Society, so um, we now have nine docents who are trained to take uh, lead tours around the cemetery. We've got a multitude of different uh, tour subjects, like notable women, the Civil War, artists in Evergreen, um, and so now we have this program set up. Twice a week, we will have regular scheduled tours, Thursdays at 5 p.m. and Sunday afternoons at 2. And Mary Ann, you're one of the new docents. I'm, well, I'm not exactly a new docent. Oh. I, I started last year, uh -huh. and I took the, um, the Ph.D. or the Portland History Docent program in 2008. I've been a volunteer at another um, historical site here. But when last summer, when I saw some articles in the paper, that Evergreen was going to uh, revitalize its tour program and was looking for people. I, I've been always fascinated by the cemetery and decided to see what was going on, went to the first meeting, and I haven't left. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have a specialty? Um, uh, there are different tours, women, artists, uh, Civil War. Is there one in particular? The, that the one that I've done the most work on is the seafarers. Oh. Um, and I will be giving that on Thursday, tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm working on a new tour right now on the western end of the cemetery because we tend to focus um, near the chapel. And we really haven't concentrated in that section, so I'm working on that right now. And we'll be giving that a week and a half from now, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it's a lovely cemetery. I was out there this weekend, Memorial Weekend, doing our family plot at Evergreen, and I was impressed with how well kept it is. It, it has been forever. I used to play there as a child, and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and there are people who aren't able to do these tours, or at least in the past they haven't been able to do these tours, because it's a big garden and it takes a lot of time to walk through. Right. But you've added something else this year. That's right. We have a new program we call OATS, Older Adult Tours. And the genesis of this tour was when I um, was working in the office covering for Elaine Spring one day. Um, a resident from Park Danforth came in and wanted to tour the cemetery and she wanted to go down by the ponds. And it, it scared me because she would be alone and the terrain is rough and gravelly. Um, so she came back for a regular tour and it was a little too much for her because she had a walker. So we developed this tour, Janet Morelli who developed um, our tours over the years of, of the Friends uh, created a driving tour. So we start with um, a presentation in the chapel, in Wild Chapel, a slideshow presentation, and then we take a driving tour through the cemetery. So it's about a two hour program. And so we have been reaching out to um, retirement communities in the greater Portland area and inviting them to come to Evergreen. Um, there's a, a, it's a pretty low fee program, but there is a small fee. And if the retirement community has a van, we get in their van and we drive through the cemetery. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's very fun. Now for the regular um, tours, is there a fee for that as well? There is. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's $7, but if you're a member of the Friends of Evergreen, it's $5. Oh. So then, uh, and children 12 and under are free. Great. Yeah. And this will, these programs will be repeated. They, they start again and keep going through the they fall. They do. 
They do. We're going to continue this uh, schedule twice, this twice weekly schedule through August, mm -hmm. and then we'll we'll cut back to once a week as long as we can until it's just too snowy. <laughs> well, how do they find out more people? Uh, on our website, yeah. friendsofevergreen.org. Oh, great. Yeah, the well, tours will be listed. I'm going to sign up. The one tomorrow <laughs> night sounds fabulous. Thank <laughs> you both for being here. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>